Hello everyone, Mr. Hoy again. In this video, I'm going to be determining the vertex for the given function. Um, this is the same function I used in the last video to determine the axis of symmetry. And the first step in finding the vertex is to actually find the axis of symmetry. So I'm just going to use my answer from the last video, where x equals 4 is the axis of symmetry. And all you have to do to find the rest of the vertex is to take the 4 and substitute that for the x here and the x there. I'm going to take the right side of this equation and take out the x. I'm going to put a 4 here. And I will put another 4 right here in the parentheses. One thing I want to make sure to do here, um, I know we know our um, orders of operations. We know exponents come before multiplication. But sometimes when you get two numbers that are being multiplied and they're sitting right next to one another, students mistakenly multiply first before using um, the exponent rules. We have to make sure in this case we square the 4 first. That gets us to negative 1 half times 16. Plus we can make this a 16 as well. Minus 6, simplifying this, gets us to negative 8. Plus 16 minus 6. That gets us to positive 8 minus 6. And that gets us to 2. This 2 represents the other part of the vertex. The vertex will always be the x-coordinate of the axis of symmetry, so the 4 from our previous video and previous question, and then whatever we solve for here. So the positive 2 from right there will go with the other part of the vertex here. So our vertex is 4, comma 2. 